The works involved the design, fabrication, delivery and installation of a pavilion as part of the Triennale at the National Gallery of Victoria. It was a collaboration between Kenga Kuma's studio in Japan and Jeff Nisa, Melbourne-based artist. We've been working with Jeff on the journey over that last four or five years. And I guess our role has been to provide input as to buildability issues, how we're actually going to fabricate the pavilion and a fair bit of work involved in cost planning. We specialise in uh, CNC machining. We have uh, some quite unique equipment here that can uh, cater for a job like this. The key elements with this project are the the intricate details in the uh, in the way that it comes together uh, from an assembly point of view. It's basically a freestanding structure, so you know things like tolerances and, and all the joins and, and how the whole system interacts together is basically forming up the, the structure and the integrity of it. So, you know, there's very tight tolerances, which is quite unique for a complex shape like this. Working in, in reasonably uncharted territory in terms of the performance we're requiring out of the materials in the job and uh, trying to be true to the architect's intentions around uh, the methodologies in which the pavilion's constructed. We've got hoop pine, that's an Australian timber, I think mainly up, up north again. Howard, uh, when he rang me up about this project for the National Gallery, uh, we decided that it would be best if we got Tom involved with the wooden machining of that here today. He's probably the best wood machinist I've come across. One of the great challenges on this job is that because it was something that no one had ever really done before, we'll build a structure from a first principles basis, so will it stand up, will it be sufficiently robust for a public installation and will it be on time and on budget. I've been lucky enough over the years to have known Jeff Neese for probably about 20 years. He's, in my opinion, what I call like an old school artist. He creates designs that are very much about the interplay of light through his structures. This pavilion had that aspect of, of Jeff's aesthetic, and then that was overlaid on the classic Japanese aesthetic, which involves really intricate connection details and form, which allows structures to be freestanding whilst interlocking. What we really value are our collaborations, our partnerships, and you know, we really see that as a two-way street. It's us with our clients and designers, but probably more importantly, it's us with our, our subcontractors and suppliers, because it's through that relationship that we're able to deliver projects to everyone's expectations. We're really delighted with the results at the end of the day, because it, it reaffirmed that, that mantra that we consistently speak about, is that with the right approach and with the right skill set across the business, you're able to be really adaptable with what projects you can get involved in and deliver.